Hello. I'm Amy Rose. We will learn about crystalline and amorphous solids. First, to talk about crystalline. A crystalline solid is a solid material such as atoms are arranged in a highly ordered microscopic structure, forming a crystal lattice that extends in all directions. For example, let's consider a silica glass. As before I talked about ceramics, you may recall we use clay in pottery. Note that, a glass which is completely transparent. It may break, if you have dropped, or hit with something. On the other hand, to talk about amorphous solids. Amorphous solid is any non-crystalline solid, that does not organize the atoms, and molecules in a definite lattice pattern. For example, such as plastic, or gel. They are made from natural and abundant raw materials, that are melted at very high temperature to form glass. They are widely used in making glass bottles, car windshields, windows in every rooms etc. Similar to ceramics, they are widely used in making earthen pots, bone china, stoneware, and others just I have said. You may simply recall this by yourself. Now, think about breaking test of glass. Their use of two types, namely laminated and tempered glass. Laminated glass is, when two safety glasses combine with a film protection. This holds together when shattered. For example, a bulletproof glass, is shot by a bullet by a gunman or army man. Why does it happen? The flexible material then absorbs the remaining energy of the bullet. This makes a crack spot on the glass anywhere. On the other hand, if it is tempered, the whole glass shatters into millions of fragments. As a result, the bond breaks itself due to increasing temperature, the atoms vibrate. If you drop, or throw, or step on, or burn with lava, this results in shattering. So this topic you have learned about crystalline and amorphous solids. Like, comment, and subscribe now.